Welcome back to Stay Tuned. I'm Tony Angelo, and today we're going to be talking about my first car, my 1971 Dodge Demon 340. Um, I just happened to buy one of the raddest cars ever when I was 15 okay. years old. There's a great story behind it, and I still have the car today. It's one of my absolute favorites, uh, and we're going to do a complete overview on it, do a couple things to it, and then hopefully get it out on the road. Um, but first, I have to introduce a special guest, my buddy Hudson. Come on in. Pound it. Hi, guys. This is Hudson. Um, we have been buddies for a few years now. Uh, he reached out a four years ago, I'd say. Uh, Hudson was in Children's Hospital here in Philly getting his first heart transplant. Uh, since then, he's had another one. So you're really like, you know, it's kind of like the engine swap of the human body. Yeah. You're like a king of that. Uh, and we're going to have some fun today. He's going to hang out. Uh, we're going to do some cool stuff. And uh, hopefully he gets maybe some burnouts done or something cool. That sound fun? If your dad's cool with it. Yeah. We'll figure it out. All right. Let's get cracking. Okay, so the story behind my first car and how I sort of got into muscle cars is my mom had wanted to buy my dad a 68 Camaro when I was like 12 for his 40th birthday. And we never got it, a bunch of stuff. We couldn't find the exact one he wanted, but by then she was like, learn about muscle cars. And I did, I read a whole bunch about them and I was like, I really want one for my first car. Um, and this is a story you can tell your dad later when you want one for your first car. Um, but essentially, I started looking around at different cars, and I drove, I, I started working at a tire shop when I was 14, uh, every summer, and saving my money, and my parents, and they'd split it with me, so I, you know, and uh, more or less, I looked at all these kind of junky cars, and my dad wouldn't let me get any of them. He's like, they're all a wreck, but we looked at, boy, we looked at some good ones. Uh, the cool thing about the Demons if you don't know, is that they only made them for two years. So we'll get a couple right. shots of this You know thing. there's a demon we'll now. We'll start talking about it. But until three years we'll ago, the they only made the demon in 71 and 72. And the deal is this. It's essentially a Dodge Dart in the front uh, with the back of more or less the Plymouth Duster. So the Duster and the demon are like brother-sister cars. And essentially, Plymouth had come out with the Duster, and it immediately became their best-selling car. And Dodge said, we need to get a hold. We need to do something like that. So yeah, this is it. It's basically the original engine with a little bit of modifications to make a little bit more power and a ton of suspension modifications to make it handle better. So you can see it's pretty basic inside, pretty stock looking. I've got, uh, it was a bucket seat car originally with the houndstooth interior. And I have later what they call like sort of they're like, kind of like buckets, but with the bench bottom. It's like a bucket bench. Oh, yeah. wow. So there's the motor. It's, uh, like I said, a 340. It's been rebuilt twice. It's 40 over now. Um, still pretty much the engine that came in it. Stock heads, stock block. Uh, it's got a Mopar purple camshaft. Uh, Edelbrock Performer RPM intake. It's got a little Holley 700 CFM carburetor on there. It makes... Probably 375 horsepower. It's perfect. It's a nice little street ripper, um, and it's, it's pretty clean. Under here, in the Mopar world, this being black is not cool. They're, their cars wear body color everywhere, and so, like, this makes David Freiberger insane. That part, not cool with him. All right, let's see. So my big issue right now is when I had the engine built, I had a big old drag pan on it. So a drag oil pan just looks like a square box of metal welded to the bottom. And it's good for drag racing because it keeps a lot of oil getting fed to your engine, even if there's a lot of G-force or if it's like, you know, really raised up, doing a wheelie, any of that sort of stuff. But because I had it really lowered and we did some driving with it on some like gravelly roads, it got crushed. And I had to take that pan off because it was a mess and dented and all banged up. So we put in a stock oil pan here, just a little replacement one, and I put a baffle on it, but we didn't do a good job of sealing it up, and it leaks like a ton of oil, and it smokes like a chimney when you're driving it. Um, one thing I did do about this, like this car, I didn't want to change the engine because it's the original one, but the suspension, I wanted to upgrade kind of everything. So underneath this car is a ton of QA1, sort of the whole catalog. Uh, tubular K-member, tubular arms, these strut rods, everything. And the heart drives and handles a ton better than it should. Uh, in the back, I'll show you. We've got 
this hidden sort of six link suspension. This would just be leaf springs, like on the Firebird uh, normally, but we have all this upgraded stuff, so it does drive pretty good. This six link actually they don't make anymore. Uh, they've gone now just to a regular triangulated four link, but that needs a little bit more welding to put in, but still a very cool system. All right, so step one is just gonna be drain the oil so we can pull the oil pan down. So we gotta loosen this up. You wanna give me a hand? You wanna give it a shot? Ready? Pull. Oh, you got it. Attaboy. Right. Give it one more turn. And we'll be just about ready to do it with our hands. Go ahead, pull. There you go. Yep, perfect. Now, the fun game I like to play is how can I get this thing out and not get oil on my fingers? So it's kind of like a ninja move. Yeah. Oh, it's close. Nope. Not so good. Not so good that time. It's not physically possible. It's not. I've had better luck with other ones, but that works. That's going to drain out. It's pretty gross. It's probably time to change it. This engine only has about 2,000 miles on it um, since we rebuilt it. And I've changed the oil once when I put this pan in. But it's still good to change it again. It's been sitting a long time. We'll change that out. We'll pull the pan down. And then we'll get inside it and try to see what we're getting our leak from. Because it's definitely coming out. We've already come under here and cleaned everything up. but. You can see here, you see that drop in the very back? That's a clear indication that it's coming out the back. Also, whenever I hit the gas hard, all the oil sloshes in the back, and that's when it really pours out. So we know the leak's in the back. Jeez, how much is there? About five quarts. So what do you think you want to get for your first car? A Lamborghini. That's a Aventador. Oh, Aventador. Okay. It's like my dream car. Just that, you want your dream car for your first, yeah, very I'm first like, one? Why not? Like, yeah. Your first car should be your dream car. I like it. I like it. I feel like this was my dream car as a kid. So, you know, Dad, get that checkbook out. That's, that's a hefty one. Maybe a model. Yeah. Start with a maybe RC car. Go from there. And you guys have a truck project, right? You know what year that is? 86. 86, and it's a Ford. Do you know how many turbos are on it? Two, it's two turbos, he's not kidding. It's a built, stroked, big block with turbos, two turbos it's on it. like super loud. Super loud, yeah, that makes sense. All right, we are just about ready. I'll toss the plug in, and then we'll start taking these bolts out. You ready? Good, you know how this works? All right, why don't you just go around this way? Grab that thing. Here, spin around this way a little bit. There you go. All right, got it? All right, hit it. Hit it. Right. Watch out, they may fall a little bit. Good? We're just going to crank on all of them. Hit it. Very aggressive. I like your style. Go. Nice. Okay. So try to give it a goose this one. There you go. Okay. Hold on, there you go. There you go. go ahead. Good. Okay. You got it? Nice. All right, good work. So we're gonna take out this steering arm because we need it out of the way to drop the pan down. So you want to give that a pull. There you go. Nice and strong. Pull. You got it. There it is. We'll go all the way around. Grab it. That's it. So hold it up and pull it. There you go. There you go. All right, we're going to pull on this. We're going to pop that right out. That's called an idler arm. 
and that transfers the motion of the steering gear box to this wheel so that the wheels turn together. All right, so let's give that a, we're gonna go in this way with it. Yeah, push, there you go. There it is. All right, so we'll just wiggle it out. Yep, there, nice. That should be plenty of room. Okay. I almost got dust in my eyes. Yep, we can put those glasses back on. It doesn't hurt. Be a little safe down under, under there. Do, 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 do. Want to be safe? Use safety stuff. There you go. It's right in the name. Like, like the thing, it never hurts to be too safe. Yes, remember that when we're driving later. Is it going to squeeze by the headers? I don't know. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? It's a bad thing. So the, our options are this. Loosen the headers up. Or try to scrape and replace all the stuff we need to with it sitting in there. But you're never really able to do as good a job. This one header tube, see this one? It kind of like goes in our way. So I think to get it fully out, what are you going to do? It's just about to squeeze out too. Well, maybe. All right. Let's reconvene. Let's see what we're looking at. I can tell you this. When I put this in, it was not fun. It wasn't easy, and we did it on the floor, oh, God. which is even worse. Because you don't have much room. You don't have much room to see or do anything. At least we're on this lift. Right, this is what you said. Give it a little wiggle to the side. Yeah. Yeah, and pull it down. So I think you're right. We're going to be able to get this out. We'll just take the rest of the steering linkage off, and she'll be good. Only if we had a little bit more space back here. Yeah, we'll get it. We'll get it. Sometimes the tiniest things can help a lot. Yeah, he's talking about himself, this guy. All right, I'll hold it and you hit it. Oh, wow, right off there. Nice work. Okay. Ugh. So maybe we'll kind of give that a little scoot up there. And then we come in here with this puller. So this thing really just grabs and pops stuff off. It grabs it really hard with these little teeth. And then it's gonna pop it off. And you just turn it. This is an old guy. This has been around a while. Make sure you get that centered. Okay, we'll grab a three-quarter and let her rip. Right? Thank you, use the gun. Give her a couple of bumps. Just that easy. Yeah, give that a hold. Okay, there. Ready? There she is. Boom. Nice work. Found it. We're just going to come in here and just really try to get all the way underneath that cork gasket. This is hot, sharp, and slippery, so maybe leave this part to me. The tough part is I use a ton of silicone to try to make it stick, and uh, we did a good job with the gasket, but we're kind of 
still got to tear it all off. Yes, yeah, so you got to push down. I'll push down, you push out. There it is. That's it. Ready? Shove it. Yeah. Now you got it. Beauty. So most of this junk is out of there. I think we're ready to put it in, just about. We need a new fresh can of brake clean. Nobody breathe for a while. We'll it get this thing in there. It looks brand new now. Brand new. Brand new. Wow, it does look brand new. Cans in here. Yeah. Okay, maybe not brand new. It's pretty close. Yeah. It's what do you think? Clean. You ready to do some burnouts or what? Just waiting all day. You hear that? What? I said, you ready to do some burnouts? He's like, I've been waiting all day. Because <laughs> it's true. I know. Me too, buddy. Me too. I'm waiting all week for this. All right. Watch your eyeballs. I really want to get this out. If any of this silicone gets caught in the pickup, it can clog it up a little bit. We really don't want that. All right. Since I made these cool baffles, I'm a little worried about it. Oh, we'll get it out of there. We will get it out of there. I sent Tori a picture of you shooting stuff. Yeah. You know, I was like, we had to put him to work, <laughs> working the camera. Put this guy to work That's what right we to now. Do. All right, we'll break clean everywhere. <coughs> now we will get the air compressor rocking, blow it out, put it in. We're gonna clean the carburetor out a little bit. It's been too long. And we will hit the streets. And you can drive a stick, right? Is that correct? You look at me like, of course. Yeah, of course I can. Of course not. So we're ready to put on our new gasket. We're gonna hit the corners here. And just do a little skim. Make sure that this rubber piece has the opportunity to get where it needs to go. It's gonna go around here. Kind of splits apart at the seam there. And that goes right in that little hole right there. We're gonna probably pull that with some pliers. Perfect. All right, you see? Could probably be opened up. These are not exactly where they should be, size wise. Yes, nice. Yeah, perfect. All right, now we'll do a little bit on here. Go ahead and just take your finger and just give it a little swipe. There you go, just to give it a little bit, a little extra sealing power. Same on the front. You want to just take your finger, just a little skim there. Kind of just like you're painting. Yeah, just perfect. It's like you're painting just with your finger. Yup, exactly right. Finger painting. <laughs> yeah. That's it. I'm just going to get into these little, little corners a little bit. Same here. Little glob in each corner.
Wish I could weld that good. Boop. Good, all right, so we have the new seals in here, a little bit of silicone and some in the corners. All right, Hudson, you hold these bolts. Get ready to toss them up in there. And we're gonna try to just sneak this. Just barely fits. I mean, I'm not great, it's gonna go. Pretty tight. So Maybe that's why you didn't put the rubber on it? I don't know why we didn't do it. We may not go like up, lip over, and get back. Something like this, something like that. But now we're gonna have to uh, just pop that. come back and get everything in line again because there's no room for these beautiful headers. There we go. All right, this is going to be challenging bring it down and do it all in this space here yeah what's up flyer well, that thing popped out i see that that's troublesome okay really worked it over You got pliers? Give that a yank. Push from the back side? Oh, yeah. Okay. There you go. Nice. It is, that is satisfying. Man, <laughs> that was fun. That felt good. Felt good. Okay. The best part is, like, I didn't rip it. You didn't rip it. We made a big mess here. Yeah. It's okay. All right, so that corner is good, but let's get another fresh blast in there make sure everyone's where they need to be here that looks good there. okay we might have a shot at this lip in the back somehow looks good that's a miracle let's just let's send it right hudson let's just send it oh boy let's do it buddy no no more time to waste. That's no right. more time to waste. Hudson's ready to hit the streets. Get a couple bolts here. Right. Another one, buddy? No, go to this side. Hold on. Is that good? That light up? Yeah, you're good. All right, get one here. Good. All right. You guys all finish this off? Yeah. Not really. I feel like someone else should be responsible for this. I like it though. Let's do it. So what we're going to do is now get them all started in. And then we're going to try to lift it up kind of evenly. Let's see what you got. We won't be using that gun anymore, which is really, really fun. This is all precision work here.
Yes, yeah, so the idea is now to get them all started, and then we'll get them all in. We'll put the rack up a little bit. We're good. Hello. You there, buddy? Hello. Right, I'm putting this last bolt in the pan. Took a little bit of wiggling, decent amount of swearing, mostly from Hudson, and uh, she's good to go. Now I'm just gonna snug it up. I don't feel great about this collection, this intersection of rubber, cork, and aluminum in the front. We're really asking a lot. You know, I don't think there's enough room for everything, but we'll see what happens. So now I'm just gonna hit kind of each, each corner, listen for the pops, try to get it up there. Work my way around. We almost ready? Almost, buddy. I'm going my fastest. See that? Like a cat. Boom. That's probably enough footage of me tightening these bolts. All right, so the oil pan is back on. It's time to reattach the steering. Feeling good? Yeah. Awesome. All right, you put this bolt through the hole. I'm going to lift the steering arm up into place. Can you, can you put this, go ahead, try to put that through the hole. Go ahead. Do a shove. Yeah. Hold on, I gotta bring this back a little bit. There you go. Try that. Like still not in place. Yeah, I see that. Hold it there. Good deal. All right. Start with this guy. Try that. Give it a little wiggle. That's it. Oh, I'm so in. That's it. Little extra, little extra juice there. There it is. Perfect. We're going to snug that up. I'm going to put that big guy on over here. Hit the road. Ready? Push it. Ah! Perfect. Crushed it. Alright. Get it. Hmm. Good. Okay. Sweet. Alright, we're gonna take that bolt up and drop it down. One more time. quick clean up on the carburetor. This thing sat for a long time, many months, because it always leaked oil. I didn't drive it. So we're going to pull the bowls off the carburetor. This is a Holly 700 double pumper. That means it's got two accelerator pumps. That's the brake diver. So you can watch this close. See that? Um, so fully mechanical secondary. It's pretty racy carburetors. It was on there when I got it, actually, and I just kept rebuilding it over the years. So what we're going to do is drain the bowls out. I've got a good little tip for that. We just take one of the bowl screws all the way out. Yeah, let's get this one. Alright, she's really leaking. Alright, hold on a sec. Where's that thing I cut up? From the car window. Yeah, that's where it is. Oh, 
when the screw comes all the way out, it's going to just pour gasoline, and hopefully into our little bottle here. And we can catch a lot of it without just going all the way in. And then we're just going to get to the metering plates. So we'll make sure there's no gunk in the bowl. We'll give them a quick spray out. You can see that's God, that gas a little extra yellow. Good deal. Terrible, but worth getting at. Yeah, we're gonna take this off. And pull the jets out of the metering plates. Make sure they're clean. We're gonna spray this all out. Let's see if we're ready to rock soon. What's the one thing we can't forget? Um, to put oil in this engine. You gotta put oil in it. If we didn't do that, the engine would seize up. Oh, and be a disaster. Oh. No one wants a disaster. No one wants a disaster. We've come too far at this point. Way too far. Way too far. All right, uh, it's time to clean out these bowls. What's up, buddy? Ready? So we're gonna hoe. We got the gum out. Carbon choke cleaner. This stuff is gonna eat up any kind of garbage we got in there. So the bowls are where they, the gas sits when you store the car, and you want to make sure that essentially if there's any junk in there, we can get it out. Then we're gonna put the spray in the little porch too. And this stuff is gonna eat it up and clean it out. That looks pretty good. You'll be able to see <coughs> anything in there, and it's pretty clean. So we feel good about that. And I'm just going to take the jets, a little bit of volume of this junk in here, drop it in, let them sit, and head over to the main body of the carburetor. I took note of what the front jets and the back jets are, 72s and 78s, the primaries and the secondaries, just to be sure I don't mix them up. This will just eat up any varnish or any junk on there. This is not a carburetor rebuild per se, but we just want to make sure there's no, we can do a decent job. This thing's in pretty good shape. so. Is gonna get us there. You see, that's the accelerator pump working. I'll squeeze that one, push that down. Go ahead, push that down hard. There you go, now let it up. Okay, like that, that's it. So that's where it goes. When you first hit the gas, this gives you one quick shot to get everything, to get the party started. And then the jets and everything take over in the high speed air bleed and stuff. All right, so that's quick. Give this a little quick scrape with a razor blade just to get the, uh, the gasket material off. We'll put it back together. And then we'll go driving. And then we'll go driving. You are a man after my own heart. I work on the cars so I can go driving. Working on the cars is fun. Driving is more fun. Mm -hmm. Then you realize the adventure of working on it is over. Yeah. Well, believe me, after I drive it, there's a new adventure pretty much every time. That was before. poetic, though. Yeah, I know. I like it. I like it. What's that one say? I don't know. Oh, yeah, it says 72. Yeah. Okay, that's 78. No, this says 78. Oh, there you go. Okay, that's 72. And that's a 72. All right, you have the backs. You have the secondaries. We'll put them in in the back. Let's keep them separate. And 
I should probably get a jet screwdriver at some point because I'm I nicked that one. And all these are little brass tunnels that are different size to let a different amount of gas in. And that's how you tune a carburetor. Give them a quick turn. Good. All right, that is it. She winds back on. I'm going to fill the bowls up through the vents so it fires up pretty quick and we'll be ready to go. What I'm doing now is I'm just uh, lubricating the gasket so that it swells. Is there a gasket there? Yes, that's what I'm doing. This is all part of my plan. All right, good enough. Just toss on a new filter. Fill this up with the old Rotella 1540 dinosaur brand. Straight out of the earth. Good stuff. All right, so we sprayed down the carburetor parts with gum out carb cleaner, but now we're gonna run this complete fuel system cleaner from gum out. It's called Regain through the gas tank, the lines, the pump, literally everything, and then into the motor. And what's cool is this thing's been sitting, so this will help clean literally everything out as best it can. It gets rid of moisture and it's gonna prevent future deposits. So that means more burnouts down the road. Uh, carburetor's clean. Let's fire this thing up, see how it does. Check the oil and hit the road. Sound good? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's make some noise, as Hudson says. Looking good, oil pressure's good. Took a second to come up. This is Michael's car. 64? Look at that thing, a little small block Nova. He's gonna cruise with us. That sound, that sound fun? Yeah. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Hit the street. All right. So we're out. Hudson's dad, Tad, is in the car. Hudson's in the back. You ready, buddy? Yeah. We got Michael with us, following in his Nova. This is it. We're out in the Demon, and she feels good. I don't really see any smoke anymore. Stumbly there when the secondaries are opening. We got a lot of good farm roads out here. Test Hudson, all right? Yep, checks out. 
Everything checks out all right. You gotta blow the smoke out a little bit, you know? Dust the cobwebs off, Hudson. Make a little noise sometimes. You good back there? Yeah. All right, good deal, buddy. Good work today, buddy. Yes. Good work today. You did great. You can come to the shop whenever you want. We'll put you to work. Sweet. So that's it for this episode of Stay Tuned. Did you have fun, Hudson? Yeah. I had an absolute blast. What was your favorite part? Driving it. Yeah, that's exactly right. That's exactly right. So that's my first car. I can't wait to see what you get for your first car, buddy. Uh, and, you know, bring it by. We'll add some horsepower to it, right? Because you're welcome at the shop anytime. That was great. You're coming work on whatever, buddy. Yeah. Should we do, like, maybe one more big burnout? Yeah. I think. All right, let's hop in the car. We'll see you guys later.